We possibly can. You can get a great seat for the fi for the price of what you'd pay for a pay-per-view telecast. Um, this quality of boxing has been uh, emblematic of Showtime's boxing program in, in the last few years. Uh, the man who should be very proud of that and who helped put the show together and is responsible for the show is on the day is Stephen Espinosa. Thanks, Lou. Um, this event will actually be the 25th boxing event uh, at Barclays. Uh, it's 25 events in five years, five events a year. So first, I've got to recognize the Barclays Center, Brett Yormark, and, and their staff, uh, because there aren't that many venues supporting the sport and contributing to the sport the way the Barclays Center is uh, to be doing 25 boxing events in just its first five years of existence is a really strong contribution to this sport. We're also proud more than half of those 25 events have been Showtime events. We've done 12 events at Barclays uh, on Showtime and two on CBS. Um, of the five Barclays shows this year, Showtime has done four of them. Three on Showtime, one on CBS. And we've set a 
very high bar in those events. In January, it was Jack DeGale with Germonte Davis and Jose Pedraza on the undercard. In March, it was Thurman Garcia with Erickson on the undercard. Uh, and in April, it was Berto Porter, uh, also featuring Jamel Charlo in a title fight. Those are high quality cards. And fighters know, promoters know, everyone knows when you fight on Showtime at Barclays Center, it's a big night of exciting boxing. Um, this Saturday's triple header will feature five of the top 10 super welterweights in the world, four of the top five. Uh, and that's on legitimate rankings, whether wherever you look them up, whether it's the ring or ESPN, five of the top 10, four of the top five. Put it another way, of the six fighters featured on Showtime, five of them are ranked in the top 10 of the division. And the one who isn't, because Shea, is an undefeated Olympian with a stellar amateur record. You know, fight fans sometimes complain that having multiple belts and multiple champions is complicated, you know, it's confusing. But, you know, in this division, it's not. Uh, I'll make it really simple. These guys up here are the best guys in the division. That's it. Who's the number one fighter in the division? Who's the best? I can't tell you, but it's one of these six guys. So on, on this coming Saturday, you will be seeing the best in the division, and they'll be fighting each other. We're, to, we're particularly proud that, uh, that all these guys have come of age, have been developed on, on Showtime. Um, Lara has appeared seven times on Showtime, including three times on Showbox. Um, Charlo has been 10 times. You know, Jamal also fought on Showbox. You know, Austin Trout fought on Showbox. Jared Hurd is a Showbox fighter. Terrell made his pro debut on Showbox. Erickson didn't fight on Showbox, but we're, we're not going to hold that against him. Uh, but again, what we've been trying to do this year is feature the best fighting the best, and particularly in the 154-pound division. It's a great division. We've got the best fighters all on one card. There's no reason to miss it. It all kicks off 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 Pacific. Thanks. Before I bring up these gentlemen, I just want to talk a little bit about the Off-TV Undercard. Um, it's going to feature another terrific junior middleweight, Tony Harrison from Detroit, Michigan, on the card. Tony had a terrific fight uh, with Jared Hurd. It was a tremendous battle. Jared wound up winning that battle, uh, defending his title. But Tony's coming back on this card. I think Tony's in the room later. People want to talk to him. Julian Sosa, undefeated prospect from Brooklyn, New York. Cindy Serrano, one of the two Serrano sisters, world champion of the WBO, one of the two champion Serrano sisters. She's on the card. Cordell Booker, another undefeated prospect from Brooklyn. Richardson Hitchens from Brooklyn, undefeated. George Arias, undefeated heavyweight from the Bronx. I see him standing back there. Um, so it's a terrific stacked undercard. Get there early, watch the whole show. When we get on TV, as Steven said, it's the best against the best. That's what Showtime's attempted to bring you consistently. That's what the Barclays Center has hosted consistently. That's what the brand Brooklyn Boxing has come to stand for, the best against the best. I'm pr really proud to promote shows like this, whether or not I have any of these fighters or one of them or more or none under contract, it doesn't matter. I'm promoting boxing. I'm promoting great boxing. Saturday night is great boxing at the Barclays Center. Without further ado, I want to bring up the first fighter. He's, um, he's a former world champion. He's a man who beat Miguel Cotto. Interestingly, I didn't never heard his name thrown around when Cotto was looking for, for his last opponent. There's probably good reason for that. Um, but Jared Hurd, this young stud over here, he wasn't afraid to fight Austin Trout. A lot of people are because Austin's a consummate professional. He knows how to fight. He knows how to box. He's never been out of a fight. He's, he's a terrific fighter. Uh, my pleasure to bring up Austin Trout. Thank you all for being here. Giving all praises to the Most High. I want to thank Al Heyman. I want to thank Shakrisha.
in the work. Uh, promoting a number of champions. It's Mary. represents boxing. One thing I'm impressed with There's nobody that Jared Hurd is afraid of, and there's no challenge he doesn't want to take. That's what a young champion's supposed to be all about. That's what he's about. with me um here we are man you know this has been a real real long training camp so therefore i'm definitely in tip-top shape um you know i really don't have much to say you know thank you for all my sponsors and everything that uh, helped me throughout this camp my strength and conditioning coaches ernesto my trainer you know we had a beautiful camp man and um like uh the bell lou said man I'm, uh, these are the fights i want i want this tough fights so i asked for the fight with Austin trout and it's not because man you know I, um I don't truly believe in myself. I know I'm the best 154 pound out here. And um, Saturday night, a storm definitely will, will be in the building. And um, I really don't make predictions and no fight, but I can mark my words. I promise you this fight will not go 12 rounds. Thank you. Obviously you're hearing Al's name mentioned quite a bit. Um, you know, the premier boxing champions brand has been involved, this show is presented by Premier Boxing Champions, but the brand has been involved in some of the best matchups in boxing in recent years. This show, Saturday night, has three terrific fights on it. The outcomes are in doubt. This, these are fan-friendly fights. This is what it's supposed to be about. So credit where it's due to Premier Boxing Champions and, and, and to Al. Um, next fight that I want to bring up is maybe the fight that I, mean, I got to tell you, I'm, I'm super excited about this fight. And because when you have like two undefeated young studs, both of whom are still hungry, not even, haven't even hit the, the top peak of their career, um, strong, believe in themselves, you know, confident that they're the best, and putting it all on the line. Um, honestly, for 22 year old Erickson Lubin, this is a big move up in class to a. To, to Jamel Charlo, who's one of, clearly one of the best fighters at the 54-pound division. Um, but there are a lot of champions that would have run around, went away from a mandatory like this or a fight like this. And that's not what Charlo's doing. Charlo's saying, bring it on. You know, People think Lubin's prospect of the year, prospect of the year, bring magazine prospect of the year, ESPN prospect of the year all over the place. Charlo said, give him to me. And, and Lubin, Lubin's here to try to make his name to take that belt away from Charlo and to become a superstar at 22 years old. So this is a hell of a fight. Erickson Hammer Lubin. First off, I want to thank God. I want to thank PBC, Showtime. I want to thank Louis the Cubist, Gary Jonas, Al Heyman. I want to definitely thank my trainer, Jason Galarza. We had a tremendous camp. You know, we got great sparring, definitely in tip top shape. You know, I'm ready for, for this fight. You know, I, I trained over eight weeks. You know, I waited seven months for this, you know, since I was declared the mandatory. You know, so, you know, come Saturday night, you know, you will be hearing and the new, and I promise you that. bring up the champ and a guy that's going to tell you you're not going to hear and the new Jamel Charlo <clears throat> so we've been here before um, thank you Brooklyn thank you to my team thank you to my brother my family um, all my supporters I appreciate you guys we we um, thank you Meg thank you y'all we had a strong long camp because Derek 
my, sh my sparring partners that we had in Dallas. Um, Harvey didn't affect us. We've been on our grind since we knew we know who are, we know who's in our way, and we know who's below us. Um, so we we keep our eyes open, and that's how we pray. But um, this young guy he has a, a a big fight coming up. You know, I already know what I have to do. Um, they they got to be the ones that, that that try to figure out a game plan and try to come to game plan B plan A. You got a lot of hype men. You got a lot of people around you. They buzzing. They 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 keep you going. They keep you rowdy. That's good. Yeah yeah. We clap too. We clap too. We love it. We enjoy it. But um, Saturday night, you know, the fight that I thought should have been the main event of the card, um, is 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 gonna be the the one that's still the show. We did this before. We will do it again. Thank you. When he was mentioning Harvey, he meant the Storm and not Weinstein. <laughs> and, and by the way, on that note, just to recognize, like, re remember those people that are still recovering from these, these hurricanes, these natural disasters. Particularly remember the people of Puerto Rico that are 85 to 90 percent still in the dark. There are people of Puerto Rican descent on this card, so even if the President of the United States isn't going to remember them or recognize them, we can remember and recognize them. Come on, guys. Come on. Hey, yo, yo, yo. Yo. Yo, enough. Hey, 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 yo. Guys, guys, stop. Stop! If you don't stop, you're going to be removed. Thank you. All right? Final fight of the night. Um, Terrell Goucher, U.S. Olympian out of Cleveland, Ohio, 20-0, and 0, undefeated. Um, this is a huge step up for him, but this is why a, a kid fights. This is why he's an amateur. This is why... He goes to the Olympics. It's why he turns pro, to get the opportunity to fight the best. And there's no question, Erlis Landy Lara is one of the very best in the world. So um, it's a big night on Saturday night for Terrell Goucher. It's a big opportunity, the opportunity of his lifetime, um, Terrell Goucher. Um, thank you all for having me. Um, I just want to say thank God um, that I made it here. Um, it's a blessing, so um, I'm ready to put on the show. I'm, I'm ready. I've been training hard, you know. Uh, I know I got a, a big fight. This is one of my, I mean, the biggest fight on paper, and I'm ready for the task. So come October 14th, I'm looking to be a world champion, new crown world champion. Thanks. I want to thank Al Heyman, Showtime, um, Brooklyn. You know, thank you. Terrell took on the, the challenge of fighting the champion to my right. And there's no question, a lot of guys don't want to take on the cha challenge of fighting this guy. He's not an easy guy to fight. One of the smartest guys in the world in the ring. Very slick, tremendously skilled. Um, I, I actually thought that Lara won more rounds against Canelo than Canelo won against Triple G. Well, that... that you, you, you got, I'm not arguing with you, bro. So, I want to bring uh, my, my boy Louis DeCubis is going to do the, the translation. Uh, one of the best 54 pounders in the world, one of the best fighters in the world, Urus Landy Lara. Hey. Buenas tardes a todos. Quiero darle las gracias a Showtime, a Steven Espinosa, a Divela, a Hemo. He says, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, most important, he wants to thank Showtime, Steven Espinosa, uh, Lou DeBella, Al Heyman, um, the Barclay Center. También quiero dar gracias a la gente de la prensa, a mi familia por estar apoyándome, a Estin Lara, a mis amistades. Hicimos un campo perfecto. He says he wants to thank all the press for being here, all the fans, uh, everyone's team for being here, his team. His family. Y ya, lo que quiero que el día 14, 14 para demostrar quién es mejor en ring esa noche. Gracias. He said, I'm just here. I'm waiting for October 14th to get here to keep showing everybody why I'm the number one fighter in the division. We're, we're going to pose these guys. They're going to be available for interviews and one-on-ones. But you know what, guys? This is the kind of boxing show that we as people, professionals in the sport of boxing, are supposed to make available 
to the fans. These are the kind of boxing shows that should be in our biggest arenas, that should be on our premium cable networks. These are the shows we're responsible for putting together, shows in which the best fight the best and the outcomes of doubt. So I'm really, really proud of the show. I hope people come out. Tickets are available, Ticketmaster.com, BarclayCenter.com, the Barclay Center box office. There are a lot of great seats that are affordable. I hope to see you Saturday night. If you can't be there, Showtime Championship Boxing beginning at 10 p.m. Look forward to seeing you all Saturday night.